everybody, welcome back to another video in Brett's Garage. I'm Brett, and in today's video I'll be removing the fuel injectors, rocker arms, and camshaft out of my TDI cylinder head. Also, I'll be removing the pistons. I'm going to start by removing these fuel injectors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen these two bolts on the top of the injectors, and then I'm going to loosen the bolts on the outside of the rocker arms, and then loosen the inward bolts on the rocker arms. Now that I have the rocker arm off this side of the motor, I'm going to do the exact same procedure on the other side. But before I do that, I'm going to rotate the engine very carefully using the strap wrench um, in the direction of running, just to take a little bit of the spring pressure off these two injectors. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put rockers 1 and 2 in a bag, labeled 1 and 2, and put rocker 3 and 4 in bag 3 and 4, just so things don't get lost. So all these sandwich bags are actually way too small, I'll have to get some bigger bags, but at least they're labeled. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tension block securing bolts on each of the injectors. So in this situation, this 6mm 12 point is actually not going to fit where I need it to uh, just because it's too short, uh, but luckily I have another tool I can use. This is the 6mm 12 point spline tool that I'll be using to remove the tension block securing bolts. Next thing I'm going to do is disconnect the wiring harness on the injector loom from the injectors. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver and try and be very gentle and wiggle these out. So this next part, I'm going to try and wiggle these injectors loose and then pull them out. This is probably going to be quite a challenge considering the cylinder head has been already removed from the motor. So next I'm going to try removing these injectors here using just a regular cotton string. So the first thing I'm going to do is wrap the string around the injector, getting caught on the wiring harness right now. There we go. Get it all the way down there. Try and rotate it a little bit by hand. All right. Now I'm going to try and just pull it straight out.
And that is fuel injector number one. So here's a look inside the bores for the fuel injectors. And here's the injectors. So next thing I'm going to do is remove the camshaft bearing caps, starting with number one and then going to number five, three, two, four. Before I go any further, I'm just going to organize this stuff, make sure none of it gets uh, gets lost or disorganized. So as you can see, I've got my fuel injectors wrapped up in gloves and I've got them labeled with what cylinder they came out of. And I've also got everything else in plastic bags to protect it. And everything is labeled from what cylinder it came out of. Right now, I'm just going to go underneath the car. And then I'm going to start taking the oil pan off the bottom. I just finished taking the oil pan off the bottom of the engine. And I just need to rotate the engine so that I can get to these bolts on the uh, connecting rods. I'm not sure I'm going to have to take this uh, oil intake out of the way. If I do, it's just uh, two 10 millimeter bolts. six point socket does not work on the connecting rod bolts so I'm gonna hop in the golf R and go to the store and buy some new tools So I just got back from the store, got myself a 12 piece set of 12 point sockets and I also got uh, some impact socket drivers. So I just wanted to show you guys, I was trying to use a 6.10 millimeter socket on the connecting rod bolts, however, they do not fit together. So I went out to the store and I bought these 12 point sockets and here is a 10 millimeter 12 point. It just goes right on there. Having the right tool for the job makes all the difference.
For today's video, my next step will be to hone the cylinders, get new piston rings, find a new cylinder head, put this thing back together, and hope that it works. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, and I'll see you next week.